Hey, welcome back, my scrubs, to another episode of Danganronpa B3 Killing Harmony. We are about to start our very first class trial. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a moment in history, the first class trial ever. I always feel it's really special, okay? But that's not all we got. We got yeah, Chinese food. Why? why? Because playing a class trial in Danganronpa is like working a shift at work. It is, it's that long, so I'm hungry and I gotta eat, okay? So guys, smash 30K likes. If you won't do it for me, do it for Chinese food. I should instantly see 30K likes. And if we hit 30k likes, I'll play a game of Bop It next episode because I found my old Bop It. Oh, and you'll get another episode of Danganronpa. So guys, 30k likes. You guys freaking smashed the crap out of it today. I'm so proud of you, but I'm hungry, so. Last episode, I went all Inspector Gadget on this investigation and I, ba I basically already figured out. I am so confident that I figured out who killed my boy. It, it, they, they're not gonna get away with it. They think they are, but they're not. All right, so continuing right where we left yeah. off. I'm gonna ask you guys to read for a little bit while I eat, okay? Just as the Got prophecy it. foretold. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll read it. Listen up. From here on, things are going to get so violent, you wish you could turn back. No, that's not true. I won't, there won't be any gory or violent scenes. I'm positive. This is... This is an authentic replica of a courtroom. Nice observation. What a bad taste. Oh, fine, I'll have to wait until we start. It's always until we start things to eat, because that's when they talk most of the time. Why are you making us do this? Is this for you? Of course! Putting strangers in life or death scenarios is the best entertainment. You're the worst of the worst! Yeah, you are, Monokuma, you stupid bear. Worst or not, those who have fun are the real winners in this world. It doesn't matter what terrible things you do or are done to you as long as you're having fun. Oh, I see. Wow, this is so sickening. It's almost refreshing. So how do we get this game going? Well, now. There are podiums over there. Stand. Okay, don't explain the game. Third game, come on. Rontaro, uh, no, Rontaro. I really want to know his ultimate talent. I, I think we'll probably figure it out during this trial. Someone definitely figured this out and they knew his talent and because they did, because they knew his talent, they killed him. There it is, boy. We got our first little picture here. His killer is in this room with us. I just don't see it not being little dude over here. Little dude or definitely the, the girl freaking uh, inventor girl. Still don't know either one of their names right now. Do we even have any skills at all? Uh, well, I actually do have some points. I'm just gonna buy them. I don't think you guys actually care about this. I doubt probably any of these have been changed. Like the class trials. All rise, Judge Judy is in session. Class trial one, B3. <laughs> now then, let's begin with the basic Thank you. explanation of the class trial. Sorry, my wife threw a fortune cookie at, at me. Please do while During I eat. The trial You'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Yes, yeah, correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. I mean, less players, you know, do mukbang also, and gongarapa. Will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Hmm. Now let's get this crazy awesome, crazy awesome trial underway. I think it sounds better now. So I think this is the new chapter. Starting, huh? Oh no. Maybe it's not yet. <laughs> oh man. I haven't been in a trial in like forever. Oh, so you have experience with trials? Yo, wait a minute. What? Yeah, since I'm a leader of evil and stuff, <laughs> I've done a lot of bad I really need to know if he's like telling the truth or not by that. So, what are we supposed to do? Where do we even start? Going to never done trial before. Not sure where to begin. Going to never done nothing wrong before. First, let's breathe in and breathe out. We need to remember our no, no, no's. No pushing, no running, no talking. No letting men talk to you? But communication is the foundation of any discussion. We should not worry about our procedure, especially since this is not a normal trial. Each of us will be serving as a potential culprit, lawyer, prosecutor, and jury member. Let us proceed with that in mind, shall we? Okay. Then might I offer the first topic? Okay, you Don't stepping up. get ahead of us. You trying to start some shit? Miu, that's her name. C calm down. How about we listen first? Atua has spoken. He says it is vital that we hear everyone's testimony. 
I'm a good listener because my ears are clean. Once I cleaned them so hard, they bled. Yeah, is that with, you, with your magic? I'll begin the conversation then. There's something I found curious. Okay. Why, I wonder, didn't the culprit take advantage of the first blood perk? Hey, that's what I'm wondering too, my guy. I thought that was strange too. I bet they just wanted to do a class trial real bad. They're that evil? Oh crap, then it could be Kokichi. Then Kukichi. Monokuma's the culprit, the doi. Cause this whole class trial was his idea. Oh yeah! Easy peasy! I'm a fucking genius! Wait, me. is it even possible for Monokuma to be the culprit? No, you idiot. Of course not. I would never do anything to you guys directly. Even if you can't, it's a different story for the person controlling you, right? Hmm? Hmm? Is it possible that the mastermind controlling Monokuma killed Rantaro? Mastermind? Was that? Was that? I don't know any mastermind. You've never heard of him. Don't play dumb with me. Who's the mastermind controlling you guys? The mastermind, huh? Odds are, it's one of us. I don't see how that's possible oh, anymore. Way over here. Everyone else thinks so too. If it's not AI, I don't know who it's gonna be. Does this is gonna be interesting. Really think that? We'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Before we determine the mastermind, we must uncover the culprit. Then we could start by determining the sequence of events. There he goes, flexing his detective skills. The circumstances of Rantaro's death. Gonta agrees with Shuichi. After all, Shuichi is ultimate detective. Then let us start by reviewing the incident. All right, let's do this. We can find the mastermind if we work together. When this class trial is over, we'll know exactly who the mastermind is. Ah, I see. So in this game, they also have nonstop debates. All right, cool. I'll just do what I always do and figure it out. All right, so we got our bullets, eh? Body was found. Okay. Just before the time limit, right? He was killed in the library. Okay, I can. Rantaro was alone in the library. The culprit could have snuck up on him. What was he even doing in the library anyway? He was opening that moving bookcase for one reason. Because he knew about the hidden door. Mm. That means Rantaro was masterminding this whole thing. No. Yeah, that's not Rantaro it. Wait a minute. So it actually says the victim's body was discovered in the library. We don't know for sure if he was killed in the library. That's just the most obvious thing. One would assume that he was killed in the library, but I guess we don't really know that. So that's got to be the, contradic the contradiction. What? What is it then? What could it possibly be? What is the contradiction? Okay, it was his belongings on the masterminding part. Okay. Sometimes I don't understand these. But do tell. I don't think Rantaro was the mastermind. Well, yeah, I don't either. <laughs> Why? Because Rantaro didn't have the card key to open the hidden door. Yeah, that's a good point. You'd think the mastermind would have that card key on him, right? Perhaps the culprit took the card key after killing Rantaro. But none of the pictures show Rantaro holding the card key. So, I don't really think he had the key at all. Yeah, I just found it, stupid. Also, if the mastermind had died there, this killing game would have already ended. You are correct. The possibility of him being the mastermind is quite low. Then how Rantaro know about Hidden Door? Maybe he stumbled across it in the library. You know, like how Shuichi did? Yes. <laughs> maybe the mastermind told him about it. Ooh, maybe. What? That is a possibility. Why would the mastermind tell him that? He could have been the the uh, the he cheater, the the, to the library. spy. Kill him. The spy among us, you know. Does that mean the culprit and the mastermind are one and the same? Hmm. That does seem plausible. 
It's very likely the Mastermind knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap. The Mastermind knew about our trap this whole time? This case may have become the perfect crime, thanks to your hidden cameras. The Mastermind knew about your trap and exploited it to commit their crime. So after the Mastermind lured Rantaro and murdered his ass, they used Kai Idiot and Puichi's hidden cameras to arrange the perfect crime. Did they really Puichi? take advantage of our trap, though? Yeah. Is this really the perfect crime? Are we I love this music. This music is so story? nice. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not soothing, but, like, it's cool. Wait, don't give up that easily. We already know the culprit is the mastermind. We gotta work together to find the mastermind. Then we can end this killing game. I mean, it could be, but I doubt it. You yap about teamwork and all that, but you still think one of us is the mastermind. Yes, and yeah. I know that's a horrible thought. But that's why I want to end all the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the Mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll... I'll even use this class trial to do that. Kaede. <laughs> wow, looks like you're determined to face even a cold hard truth. What does that mean? Then here it comes. The cold hard truth. Does he have an unknown huh? thing? Unknown uh uh factor? I figured out who killed Rantaro. Okay. Speak what? Up. <laughs> He's sweating. Why are you surprised? Cuz if he's right, that would make this the fastest class trial today. Dang, he's going to speed run this class trial. How fast was the previous record anyway? Real fast, let me tell you. He was like a leaf on the wind. How many other class trials have they had? Oh yeah, I guess now he's one with the wind. Oh. Yeah. I think about him this time of year too. Who is it? The way he soared through the enemy fleet hall, oh, badass, just to die like a little punk. Shut it, you weirdos. Who are they talking this about? This is an important conversation. Kokichi, are you serious about knowing who the culprit is? Yup. So, we all agree that the culprit knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap, right? No. No, no we don't. That's why they're not in any of the pictures. So who is it? I'm telling you, I already figured it out. So whoever knew about the hidden cameras is the culprit. Suspect. So who the hell is it? Suspect. Miu. It's you. Ooh. What? What? You made the cameras used for the trap, right? Obviously, whoever made the cameras knew about the blind spots. I mean, it's logical. I, I'll give it to him. Before breakfast was the only time someone would be able to sneak by. What, what the hell brought this on all of a sudden? I... I just designed the cameras. I didn't know they'd get set up in the library. It, oh, maybe did that's true. Did me to make cameras? I totally asked what they were for. I don't know if they actually did say something about the library. How come you never asked what the cameras were for? Huh? Huh? I, I, I pulled an all-nighter making them and afterward just sort of passed out. Hmm. You're getting awfully worked up. Look at you. You're sweating. Well, kids, you go easy on her. Sweat. I'm just feeling extra sensitive. Like these big boobs of mine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. What did you say? For someone so aggressive, you're kind of a wimp, huh, you? Yeah, she is. Come on. Pull me up the hook already. D do you want money? Is that it? Okay, come on. Pathetic excuses are consistent with those of a common male criminal. Ooh, that's a burn. They're starting to suspect her, but is that real? Of course it's not okay. Me with my big brain knows that that's not true. Okay. All right, now that I got my brain food. Why don't you just admit it already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? Okay, okay. No way! That's not possible! All right, so one of them is Koryeko's, or Korekio's account? 
In his account, is during the body discovery announcement, Kiyo, Mio, Kurumi, and Sumugi were in the dining hall. Mio was in the middle of building a remote-controlled gadget. Sumugi had briefly gone to the bathroom and returned to the dining hall shortly after. So that's probably gonna be it. Although, you know, just because just because the body discovery announcement play didn't doesn't mean that like that's when it happened. So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? I'm telling you, I had no idea. Here we Not go. Like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? I guess so. Cameras. Would have known their blind spots too. Yeah, well, I didn't make the cameras either. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, but what? All right, so she says she never went to the library. I'm just going to do Koryuko's account. Hey, hey, it was actually right. She's like, thank God. I don't think Mew went to the basement either. Right, Kyo? Of course she didn't. Mew was in the dining hall during the murder. I saw her there <laughs> while dining on what I thought would be my last supper. The pasta on the menu tastes like a lonely old lady. Oh, they, that's what they said. That is what they said. Don't feel bad for her. She got to eat her tasty grandkid on his birthday. What? That's too sad to make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So there you have it. Muse alibi. That doesn't... Slug? Why didn't you say so earlier? That doesn't make her innocent, though. Good job, Kaede. Guess I shouldn't have judged you by your lackluster rack. Oh. Gilgamesh level condescension. But which Grail War are you from? Wow. Stop with your weep stuff. We get. You must be a hardcore loser. Oh, sorry. Sometimes my hobbies just sort of slip in. Hey, don't be acting all cocky, Kokichi. You put my ass in the hot seat earlier. How about you just keep your fucking mouth shut, you lying little up. <gasps> Mew, Mew, Mew. Oh, uh, order! <laughs> order! I'm calling a recess to go get coffee. I'll be right back. I gotta see what my fortune cookie says. I almost forgot. This will determine the fate of the class trial right here. I should have got some fortune cookies, though, that have been, like, correct. Can you read that? <laughs> fine. It says, fine beauty and the ordinary. Why? Because the main character is ordinary. They're all ordinary. To be honest, I don't know how that's a clue at all, but I'm sure it is. Actually, thinking about it, it's so weird now. The this is the this is the first main character to actually have a talent. That's why I don't believe it's actually real. I don't believe the main character's talent is actually her talent. I don't believe she is talented. Why, after all this time, will they change the game like that? What? That, that was really uncalled for. I only said that to find the culprit. No, <laughs> he's crying. Oh. <laughs> Well, Kokichi's never played a uh, Modern Warfare 2 on Xbox hey, or Halo 3. I feel a lot better now. Okay. Who your jets, kid? Sumugi and Kirumi were both in the dining hall as well. Yes, they were. I read it. We can dismiss those four as potential culprits if they were together the entire time. No, uh. not the entire time. At one point, Sumugi went to the restroom. That's true. So you brought that up after all. She was like, I really had to take a crap. It's oh. true. I went to the restroom closest to the dining hall. Oh? Did I hear that right? The restroom, you say? <laughs> and what does it mean to you, Marakuma? Excellent. I was waiting for this moment. I'm getting so excited right now. <laughs> Ch chill. Chill, Marakuma. Ew. Why? Did you take a firm dump? Or was it a <laughs> <laughs> With this ninja stars dropping a deuce in there. But I really did just go to the restroom, not the basement, you know. Also, how long was she I gone? I think I was there long enough to be suspicious, right? You're the ultimate cosplayer, though. You could have just disguised yourself as someone else while you were. No, out. she can't. She can't do that. Disguised? No, no, I don't do disguise. She literally turns red. I don't think that's possible, and I know the reason why. Oh, they, uh, cost box, of course. A sudden stomach ache, intense shoulder pain. Her shoulder just really hurts. <laughs> uh, oh my god. What is, I don't know how to play this game. My god. For some reason, they have me on, on controller controls, and I, I'm not on a controller. only cosplay as fictional characters. That's what cosplay is supposed to be in the first place. Lately, some people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable. Ooh, you better not do that. It's so unforgivable that I break out in cosplay if I even attempt it. 
There's no yeah, way that's. The cost box was pretty gross. <laughs> I see. If that's the case, then there's no way you could have been in disguise. I'm shocked they didn't do a flashback, honestly. Sorry about that, Samugi. I just thought it was something to check. This guy seems so nice, though, and so, like, oh, helpful. No, it's fine. I'm not bothered by it at all. Aw, Samugi is so nice. She's way better than you. Well, fuck you, too. <laughs> Getting back on topic, we now have alibis for the people in the dining hall. Yeah, you guys were saying the Muse voice actor is the same as Akane's. I can definitely hear it now. I know that Todd, Todd Habercorn is the voice actor for uh, Orochimaru looking dude. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. There's more, but. So we know that Kirumi, Sumugi, Miu, and Kyo can't be the culprit. Congratulations to the four of you. You can all leave now. Huh? Can they? Yeah, right. But what about the swines who went to the basement? They're all suspicious, right? Yes. Which of us went to the basement? Well, when Shuichi and I were on lookout, we saw. A sure. Kaito, Gonta. Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Angie, and Rantaro. So seven people in total. Yeah, at some point they're gonna so bring up Shuichi. Among those seven. <laughs> but of course. Why are you laughing? That includes you too. Excluding Rantaro, one of the six, six people who headed to the basement. Is the mastermind of this killing game? The person who's making us endure all these terrible things. Why not torture I don't buy the it. truth out of them? It would be the quickest method. Wait, please! No torture! My tolerance for pain is actually really, really low. I'll tell you everything! Anything! Just please don't hurt me! Hey, Tinko! Please just tell us what happened. If she the culprit is among that group, then wouldn't Maki be the most suspicious? I'm just saying, she already says she hates men. Rontaro? I think was a guy, so case Just closed. Like she could definitely kill someone. Yeah, and she knows like freaking Aikido or whatever they call Cooper it. could easily be anyone, like Kaito. So what are you talking about? There's no way I'm the culprit. What are you talking about? You? Who's the culprit? Who? Gonta is gentleman. Gentlemen not hurt people. Nah, it's not Gonta. Gonta's gonna survive it's this not game. Me either. Murder sounds like way too much work. I have an alibi. Who's the culprit for fuck's sake? <laughs> she just, she cuts her we off. We need to calm down. If everyone talks all at once, then we can't discuss anything. It's all right, Kaede. We just need to listen to everyone's statements. You can do this, right? Listen to everyone's statements? What is that? I only went because I was invited. Why don't you ask the shady guy who invited me? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Me? Wait a minute. But I just said it wasn't me. Don't thrust the blame on me, you degenerate males, and your thrusting. <laughs> the thrusting. Not a bad girl, really. If you don't believe me, ask my mom. How old is she? Really? I have an alibi. I am the culprit too. Oh no! All three people are talking at once. Oh, we got some new mechanics. Everyone is clamoring to prove their innocence. There's a panic in the courtroom. Uh, oh, that's right. It's time. You will now be thrown into the mass panic debate. During the mass panic debate, three debates will happen at the same time. Oh my god. Holy crap, it's getting crazy. But just remain calm. It's not like a non-stop debate. You're just hearing triple the opinions. Simple, right? Aim at the conversation you really want to hear and concentrate and listen more clearly. Sort through everyone's opinions and find the lie or contradiction and refute it. Okay, so it's just like being on Twitter. Okay. Oh my god. Well, I want to hear what she has to say. Oh, I shot her. Whoopsie. Uh, who, who, that that song song <laughs> who that person? Happy, that how do you focus though? I still it doesn't. I don't know how to play though. Robot like Kibo? None of us there could have killed him. Okay, so Kaito was the only one that was suspicious apparently. Okay, so you said Rontaro was the only one that left, but Gonta technically did leave. So he just went to the back room. So that's got to be it. They sound like chipmunks. <laughs> I am the king of this game. All right, I was a little confused on what to do, but I get it. I get it. It's just the same crap. Wait a minute, Kaito. Wasn't there someone else who disappeared other than Rantaro? That idiot already forgot. Gonta also left during the strategy meeting. Yeah, but he's he's he innocent. Himself up in the AV room and hey, wait a sec, idiot. Is that right, Gonta? Y yes, Gonta watched bug movie. 
to fill Gonta with fight. So what? Gonta can fight Monokuma. <laughs> Gonta watch Bugs Life. Gonta like it when grasshoppers squish bugs. No, wait, no, he wouldn't like that. I just trying to remember what happens in that movie. He like it when Caterpillar says, I am beautiful butterfly. Were you trying to imagine yourself as a huge mantis with swords for hands? Oh, come on. How is looking at bugs supposed to put you in a fighting mood? Hey, some of those bugs, man. Idea. Get them away from me. I couldn't catch up on a hot dog. But why did you I do that? Because Gonta need focus. Everyone suspect Gonta? Why? They're all fools, I tell you. You don't have an alibi. Oh, Gonta just need alibi? Okay, Gonta will get alibi. <laughs> Tell Gonta where to find it. This is what I'm saying, man. He's just so lovable. In the way this debate is going, this will be difficult to refute. <laughs> what will you do without an alibi? Will Honest, honestly, though, like Gonta, so he is so stupid that he would be good at getting away with murder because they would just assume, oh, he he doesn't, he can't even defend himself if he tried. Gonta, please understand that in order to reveal the truth. You must also participate. But Gonta not sure where to start. You just have to tell everyone why you couldn't have done it. If you're not the culprit and we all vote for you, then we're dead. Too. Gonta's like me and Among Us. Like I don't know how to how defend you myself. Writing on your word. You got this. Okay. Gonta will try. For everyone's sake. Yeah! Ha 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 ha! Fight, Gonta! Fight! 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 <laughs> what the? <laughs> the, debate is, the debate is getting loud and heated, but if I just focus on everyone's voice, are we doing this again? Going to not culprit. Okay. Cause to oh, the sliding door. Room, sliding door. Going to must walk through game room where friends are. Yeah, that's it. To Got even it. Reach hallway. If you can't get to the hallway, you can't go to the library. There we go, and that's it. This room's got more than one entrance, though. There's open a door facing the hallway too. The sliding door across from the rear entrance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe the killer, like a little dude, well, I don't know how he how he would know, but maybe the the killer took advantage of the fact that, that Gonta was in the room. And they assumed that that door would probably open, so they, so they probably maybe thought that they would get away with it, thinking that he could just go through that door and they could just blame it on him, but... They didn't know that the door actually wasn't. You couldn't open it. With that sliding door. With that sliding door, what? You can quickly go in and out of the library. Oh no, you cannot. Then he got past the camera somehow. Yeah, he's so he's big. How could he? That's settled. Let's go home. It's not settled. Go to not culprit. Well, I hope I'm never on the freaking being judged by these people. Sliding door on sliding door. Home. Simple enough. to use the sliding door. Tell him. You saying I'm wrong? You got a lot of ass to be contradicting me. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you mean to say sass? <laughs> I am. Um, think you left out an S. I don't think she left it the out. Sliding door always jams. You're only able to open it a crack. I don't know how that's gonna be related, the but I think it is. Your body that will be able to go through is your arm. He strangled him through the door. There's no indication of the door being forced. There was dust on the track. And let's be honest, Gonza could have easily broke that door if he wanted to. I think that's what maybe they'll say that. In other words, the chance they came out the sliding door is zero. Uh, I see. So I made a mistake. How rare. Yeah, you did. It's not that rare for you to make a mistake. <laughs> Your entire existence is a mistake. Roasted. Vicious little. You can't if talk Gonta back to her. She can't the take sliding it. Sliding door. Then, in order to get to the library. You'd have to go through the game room, but I didn't see him at all. See? Gonta tell you he not culprit. No, we cannot confirm that just yet. No, no. Huh? My apologies, Gonta. I do not mean to put you on the spot like this, but because I promised to do my best, I will fulfill that responsibility. But are you saying Gonta could still be the culprit? There is the possibility that Gonta killed Rantaro from the AV room. From the AV Ow. room? 
How? Uh -huh. I didn't know that was a possibility. What, did he had the ball and he threw the ball through the crack and it went through the other door as well and then it hit him in the head? How else? Not only could he have killed Rantaro from the AV room, but also... He would not appear in any of the pictures from the cameras placed in the library. Whoa! Perfect! But wait, then how did Gota kill him? Well, it's obvious to this glamorous girl genius. That may be explained for these dimwits. And you? First, I will explain the layouts of both the AV room and the library. The sliding door in the AV room faces the well, rear door of the library. I guess technically, yes. He was in line for someone to put something through the AV room, but how? Literally how? Gonta would have had to have perfect aim to hit him with that ball from that far away. Because of this, it is possible for Gonta to have killed Rantara while he was in the AV room. Um, but how though? In order for the murder to take place, the rear door of the library must be opened. That's what they're going to say. I know they are. Oh, wait a sec. Isn't that impossible? The AV room sliding door doesn't open, so you can't get into the hallway. If you cannot enter the hallway, how would you open the rear door to the library? Although you cannot fit your whole body through the sliding door, an arm would suffice. It would be possible if you used a particular item in the AV room. Unless Rontaro accidentally stepped on a fly. Oh my god, that would be the worst. Oh, what the heck? I, I didn't know I could do this. This is cool. It would really help if I knew the controls. I know they said that you can roll this thing up, but that's the only thing I can think of. I don't know what else it wants. I get it. Oh, did I? Did I do it? I pressed enter. It's, it's so confusing. Is it the projector screen? That is correct. You can make a long pole if you roll up the screen. It would be possible to reach the library door with it. Oh, and that's how they opened it? Oh. Use the rolled up screen to reach the library's rear door. Oh my god. No way. No freaking way. This would be... The screen itself is quite heavy, but... That would not have been a problem for Gonta. That's true, but no. Yeah, no problem for Gonta. Oh my. How honest. Yeah, he's too honest. I'm telling you, he wouldn't do it. The camera would take your picture. Oh, that's a good point. The camera wouldn't be triggered just by opening. Oh crap, she's right. Shuichi and Kaede's pictures were like that as well. The shutter only went off when someone set foot into the room. So it was possible to open the library door, but where does that get us? Gonta still couldn't have gotten from the AV room to the library. Gonta did not enter the library. He killed Rantara while he was still in the AV room. So does that mean Gonta threw the shot put ball? Wait! Wait, I say! Why would anyone do something so crazy like throw a... Wait! not crazy at all what <laughs> throwing a shot put ball is totally normal that's somehow surprising to her the act of throwing a shot put ball could lead one to use it as a weapon even if a person couldn't fit through the space a shot put ball certainly would rentaro's body was across from the av room sliding door as well i don't is gone to really this if smart i'm just saying was open, he would have been able to it's too early on the trial that's quite the distance though and that shot put ball was pretty heavy. Oh, but when he did that... Already, Gonta easily picked up the heavy manhole cover. It would definitely be feasible for him to throw a shot put ball at his target. Yep, a walking talking Roomba can't compare to a mighty beast like Gonta. That Roomba remark is probably not... Oh! Me, <laughs> as I have a variety of custodians. <laughs> like what? Well, Gonta? Can you throw a shot put ball from that distance? Yes, probably. See? Why would he? He's not even trying to hide. <laughs> You're so cool, Gonta. You could be the ultimate shot putter. Well, I've heard enough. Gonta's the culprit. No, it's it's. Wait, Gonta never hurt anyone. Not even insect. Gonta telling truth. 
Gentlemen never tell lies! Well, there you have it. What do you guys think? I would like to believe him, but without evidence, we cannot. If everyone is wrong, we'll never find the mastermind. They are. No, no, no way. All right, nonstop debate again. Let's do this. Big brain time. So we agree. Gonta's the culprit. All right. Gonta, not culprit. Okay, so one of the options is K1BO's uh, accounts, or B0's. During the Buddy Discovered announcement, Kibo and Ryoma were in their own rooms. Yes. So they say. We don't know that. They don't, they don't know that. Typical degenerate male excuse. Rentaro's corpse in the AV room door do line up with one another. Yes, that is the truth. There are no obstacles in the way. Um. If one opened the back door of the library, one could throw a shot and strike true. Hmm. No way the average person can make that shot. But with superhuman strength like Gontas, it's a different story. Afterward, to close the back door to the library, he would have used the World Jump projector screen again. That's all there is to it. Oh, the moving bookcase was in the way. Rantaro's corpse in the AV room door. Yes, that's because he's the one that opened it. So he couldn't have done it. The moving bookcase was in the way. Oh my god. I can't believe I ever thought of that. He, it was clearly open in the picture, too. And as soon as they walked in there, it closed, proving that it was open. It would have been impossible for Gonta to have thrown that shot from the AV room. I knew it. He would never do it. There was an obstacle between Rantaro and Gonta. Obstacle. The moving bookcase. When Rantaro was killed, it should have been open. Yup. Ha. That's our evidence. The bookcase door was open when he was killed. Right there. Bam. I get it. It's in this picture. Here, look. These two pictures were taken by the camera facing <laughs> the moving bookcase. These photos were taken moments before Rantaro was killed. The bookcase door is completely open here, and then it closes automatically. Thank God for those cameras. I see. Well, that pretty much shuts the book on that theory, then. Oh, and what if about you? If that's true, then there's no possibility that Gonta is the culprit. What? What? Why are you making this so complicated? Just be the culprit already. You lazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry I wasn't guilty. Yeah, that's right. He's too nice. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. I should be the one to apologize. I am sorry for accusing you, Gonta. I think she's safe. No, Gonta understand. Because we gotta find culprit. Well said. For a degenerate male, you're actually pretty reasonable. Even you couldn't hate Gonta. Ugh, I hate this sentimental crap. Why is that? It's nice when everyone gets along like this. Are you stupid or something? I can't stand people having a good time. They need to have despair. He's too evil to feel ashamed for being evil. We could learn a lot from him. Don't mind me. I'm not actually taking notes. I'm placing bets on racehorses. Ow. I'm chosen for a leaf. I need a raccoon tail to chase my dragon. What? The, what does he want? It's good that Gunt is in the clear, but don't break out the confetti just yet. We're out of suspects now. I'm oh no, we're not. We still don't even know how Rantaro. We're died. not, dude. So we only know what the weapon is? How are we supposed to find the mastermind with that? We know the murder weapon is the shot put ball. But where did the culprit get it? I think it was from the warehouse. I saw track and field equipment there. Then anyone would have been able to obtain it. We need more information. What's wrong, Shuichi? Huh? Uh, uh, it's nothing. Not nothing. Ah! How do we find this darn culprit now? Shuichi, he kept the shot put ball under his hat. I knew it. Hey, culprit! Quit hiding! Just be a man and fess up already! We don't even know if they're a guy or not, though, right? Or if they're even human. Are you referring to me? Don't worry, you guys. We're one step closer to the truth, so don't give up. Are you talking? Not human? Are you talking to me? Try to remember what happened. We can find That's more very clues left by the mastermind. Clues? What kind of Like, if Rantaro was deceived by the mastermind and went to the library, 
Maybe somebody saw Rantaro having a suspicious conversation with someone. Okay, so if I remember correctly, little dude and a Rochamaru looking guy was okay i i need to figure out their name here um i remember yeah so ryoma was in there when he said the thing he said and if i remember correctly i also believe it was uh kori kyo kori kenshin <laughs> kori kyo sorry so kori kyo was in there get a look at his freaking drawing i mean don't trust this guy but i still don't think he's the one that did it it would be a good idea to figure out who knew about our trap either way anything you guys remember might be able to help with the case Yes, yes! But... Are you sure the culprit is also the mastermind? Huh? Yeah, I think so. Why? Then what Atua just told me about how the culprit entered the library is correct! Oh, what did, what did Atua tell you? Huh? I didn't hear anything. Oh, that's right. Only I can hear the voice of Atua. You mean your thoughts? <laughs> then I will speak on Atua's behalf, as his prophet. If the culprit is the mastermind, they could have entered the library while avoiding the cameras. Yes, yes. You're onto it. Are you serious? There's a way to do that? I know that Kaede put books in the vents, but they could have been moved back. Super serious, brother. Number two it sounds like a shady weirdo. Tua says I should continue explaining on his behalf. Yep. <laughs> Only a knows the truth okay. Behind. Oh, you're gonna make me do it. Okay. Okay, card reader does library event, library event, library event. Hiding in the library the whole time. That's it. Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras. Re that long? Have hidden. Inside the hidden door. Oh, okay. Thought that would be it. Hidden door? They're talking about the library event, right? Others who were alone at the time of the incident. Yes. The only ones who didn't go to the dining hall or basement are. Kikichi and Kibo and Ryoma, right? Yep. I knew the culprit was a male! <laughs> Behold Atua's divine life! I like the little effects now, that's cool. I can't I can tell there's a contradiction, but I don't think uh Angie's noticed it yet. Oh wait a minute! Oh, okay. When she says hidden door, she literally means the door. Okay. The card reader does is the reason why we knew that wasn't true. But I was thinking of the library event. I was like, there's no hidden door. But I was like, yes, there is. I'm stupid. Makes sense, I guess. Wait a minute, Angie. I don't think it was. Yeah, because the library dust what? thing. Or the library you dust. I don't think the hidden door was ever used. He placed the dust in this specific spot. While investigating the mastermind, I placed dust on the card reader. If anyone swiped their card key, the dust would have fallen. I just the, the comparison of Among Us right now is just uh, so <laughs> so we crazy. Confirmed during the investigation, they have that card swipes, no man. The, floor. the bookcase hadn't been opened, so I doubt anyone was hiding in there. The fog has lifted. Oh, you you have a. He's the one I suspect. So this is interesting. <laughs> you still got a ways to go. Huh? What do you mean? What, is he standing on a box or something? I'm just wondering. Oh, he is! <laughs> before the cameras were even set. You won't be able to prove anything with weak reasoning like that. And it was you, right? You're the only one that could fit in there. It seems you've been contradicted. When this sort of thing happens, you'll go into a one-sided debate called the Rebuttal Showdown. Is this that one thing where you have to hit him with the sword? Yes, it is. Even if we rule out the hidden door, the library's got no shortage of hiding spots. There's piles of books all over. Since the culprit was there before the cameras were placed, they could have been hiding there, you know. They took out Rantaro, then took off. Okay. I can't just I can't just listen to his argument. Okay, I wasn't doing good enough. Okay, got it. All right, that's but easy. If the culprit killed him and ran away, wouldn't they have been caught on camera? Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. No, it's all about the room. The cameras were yeah, on the, the part that they were hiding in. The all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. Oh no, I missed them. Are you kidding me? Join everyone and we'd be none the wiser. Okay, crap, 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 crap. Branches photos. Uh, I guess, I guess, I don't know. Oh, I, I got it. Oh, cut your words. Okay. 
That's a little confusing because like it's hard to pay attention to what they're saying and then also like make sure you cut everything. Culprit met him inside the library? That doesn't seem possible though. Let's hear it then. What's your reason? If you take a look at the three pictures from the camera we placed near the front door. This is when Shuichi and I met up with Kaito and Tenko and then rushed in. This one shows the other four people running in after they heard Tenko scream. And finally, everyone else coming in after hearing the body discovery announcement. You can clearly see everyone entering the library in these pictures. It wouldn't make sense if there was someone hiding in the library the whole time. Well, that does cover everyone now, doesn't it? I guess the one who still has a ways to go is me. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's better to think about each possibility anyway. Right, Shuichi? I want to hear what he's going to say. Shuichi? Hmm? Ah, um, yes. Shuichi, come on. I, I, I... Don't make me doubt you. Okay. He's been really quiet. Is he worried? So the real question is how the culprit entered and exited the library. We cannot continue until we address that problem first. It's quite the mystery. How did the killer avoid being caught by the cameras? Almost like they were invisible. Oh, but it wasn't me. My magic can only make you half invisible. Your upper half, to be specific. <laughs> Why? It's kind of a half-baked invisibility spell, isn't it? But both doors to library had hidden cameras on them. How about the vent in the library? Maybe they came in through there. But Shuichi and I were on lookout in the classroom with the connecting vent. The culprit waited until Kaede and Shuichi weren't looking, then turned invisible. Yes. Himiko is really gung-ho about her invisible culprit theory. Um, yeah, no. There's no way someone snuck into the library through the vent. That's right. We have evidence that proves that would be impossible. Um, the book... Stacked books. Yeah, that's it. I get it. But I feel like someone could have moved when that. I set the cameras, I also stacked some books in front of the vent. If someone did crawl in and out from the vent, the books would have collapsed. While we were investigating, they were still neatly stacked the way I placed them. Maybe they put the books back when they left the room. Yeah. That would be quite difficult to achieve on such a narrow bookcase. Unless you were really if small. You ruled out the vent and doors. Then how'd the culprits get in and out of the library? Maybe... Divine intervention? Gonta no can think of any other way to enter. Eureka! <coughs> I know how the culprit got in the library! The front door! Um, have you been paying attention? The camera would have taken their picture. Not if the culprit timed their movements around the camera intervals! And those exist, apparently, and you would know that! Huh? <clears throat> and what is that? Basically, the culprit knew about the cameras and their intervals. So they snuck into the library between camera shots to avoid appearing in the photos. <laughs> I know, I know. Beauty and brains. Why? It's just not fair. How would anyone else know about them, though? You? What's this interval you're talking about? Huh? Oh, now you're asking Yeah, she's like dooming herself. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. Because I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. That's the first time I'm hearing about this. Why didn't you tell us from the start? <laughs> oh my god, no. I know it's like so surprising when I randomly like do this, but like... It just, I just realized how it could even be Shuichi even more now. He would know because he accidentally took a picture of himself twice. So he would know about these intervals and he left the room. He left the room. It's Shuichi. Sh Shuichi? Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, no. I guess I forgot to tell you. No, you're wearing a hat, man. I wear a hat! How could you forget to tell me? I didn't think it would affect the plan. 
I, I didn't realize it would matter. Shuichi, I, I thought I knew you. I forgot. What a pitiful excuse. I thought I knew you. We the Hat and, Gang. Uh, that's pretty much a lie. N no, it's not a lie. He probably just forgot. There was so much going on at the time. It's only natural to forget. The game you know? wanted us to get get close to him. That way, we can get filled with despair. That's that's it. Let's put that aside for now and talk about the camera intervals. Each interval lasted for 30 seconds, correct, Mew? Yeah, sure. I'll explain it again to you mushheads. The three cameras that Kaidiot and Puichi <laughs> place go off when they pick up movement. From there, it takes 30 seconds for the film to auto-roll to the next photo. So, for 30 seconds, anyone could have entered the library without their photo being taken? That may have been enough time to kill Rantaro and exit the library. It's definitely enough time! You just gotta move at lightning speed! <gasps> it's- it's Shuichi! It's Shuichi! It's Shuichi! I'm not trying to- I'm trying to pause the freaking game. He went and got the cameras by himself. I remember now. Now that I think back, I just remember this right now. He went and got the cameras by himself, and we stayed behind. And that's when he- that's when he also got the shot put balls. But then, that doesn't really make a lot of sense either, because we were looking at them, right? Maybe there was more, but I, that's just another thing. I think he really did do it. Crap. Don't be an asshole! I have an hour. I mean, I did suspect him, but I was like, no, hall. there's no way. But oh, it makes sense. The yeah. intervals, the intervals. Well, <laughs> yeah, that makes who sense. Who else knew about the intervals? Hmm. Now, who was it again? Shuichi. Well then, does this mean that he is the culprit we have been seeking? Shuichi. But why wouldn't he come forward? Hey, what gives? Shuichi? If it is really him. Shuichi would never do that, right, Shuichi? You had better speak soon. Your silence only damns you further. Fess up already! Did you kill Rantaro? Hey, oh my Shuichi. God, no! What's no. Don't tell me you're gonna plead the fifth now. <laughs> oh man, this is getting good. Entertain me, peasant. But if he's if he's the ultimate detective, he, how can he make a mistake like that? Oh, this is a recess. Intermission. All right, all right, everybody, go go take a bathroom break. Whatever you gotta do, come back. Let's get refreshed because we about to probably bury our boy Shuichi, and I'm sad about that. I'm really hoping it's not. This could be just that plot twist, you know, but. It's kind of look. I don't see how it could possibly not be him. <sighs> this is tough, man. This is tough. Anyway, go, go do your thing. Come back. Hello, I am back. Do I sound different? I probably should. Well, I'm a lot closer to the mic than normal. Do you have your coffee? Did you go to the restroom? I hope it was good. <laughs> how was your bathroom break? Welcome back. Sit down and buckle up because here on out, Nobody's gonna be the same ever again. I hope you're ready because this is gonna be a bumpy ride Okay, so I made some adjustments to my mic But the question is do I actually sound this way or was my real voice the last one? You'll never know in fact I will never know <laughs> but thumbs up thumbs down. Let me know if you like this adjustment I'm trying to make it sound better, but um, I'm not the best. So anyway, I'm really excited Wait, what? No, I've, I kind of skipped something. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. No, everything? Daddy knows everything about anything. He basically traded his bearhood for godhood. Yes, he has betrayed his Ursine ancestors. Who is Ursine? Traded? No, I'm still obviously a bear. It's, it's obvious, right? Right, you guys? You sure ain't no fish, but you dang sir <laughs> But you dang sure smell like one. Anyway, since I know everything, I'll give you the whole story later. Try your hardest to nab the culprit, and believe me, that's no lie. If I if I lied, it would shake the game to its very foundation. So trust me, and please enjoy the class trial without any worries. Okay, that was a weird intermission. I like the ones at Danganronpa 2, though. Court is back in session! I feel like we're getting close to the gory part. It's making me nervous. Please say it's not Shuichi, man. I don't know who the culprit is, but I'm not paying attention, so it's okay. Yeah, but there's one thing we do know. The line between victim and attacker ain't as clear as you might think. Oh, really? I suppose that's one lesson we can take away from this case. 
I cut off the leg before the poison spread. By spring, flowers will grow from the stump. Okay, you're weird, dude. <coughs> Say something already. Your tongue-tied silence speaks volumes. I fucking knew you were the culprit. But wait just a minute. None of that is possible. Shuichi was with me the whole time we were on lookout. When are you suggesting Shuichi killed Rantaro? Were you really together the whole time? Huh? What do you mean? I'm asking if you two were on lookout together the whole time. Well, I guess we weren't together the whole time. No, you weren't. I can't believe it. I, I just can't. I still can't believe this, man. So that's when Shuichi went to kill Rantaro. No! Shuichi wouldn't kill anyone! Don't become emotional. We must seek the truth in a calm and logical manner. Or all our lives will be lost here. I'm not being emotional here. I'm saying it with conviction. Even if Shuichi did go to the basement, he could have killed Rontaro. He couldn't have killed Rontaro because... Oh! Uh, the murder weapon. No, that's not it. It, uh, it... The time it took Shuichi to return. Uh, it could be one of these. I think it's this one. It was very fast. Okay, that doesn't matter. I get it. Oh, wow, that actually is it. Okay. The security alarm didn't ring until after Shuichi returned to the classroom. It only rang after Rantaro moved the hidden door, which means he was still alive. If Shuichi was with me when the alarm went off, then that means he's not the culprit. By the way, I want to confirm one thing with you, Kaede. Who set the security sensor on the bookcase? It was Shuichi, right? It was. Yeah, Shuichi was the one who set up the security sensor. What about it? Did you actually check for yourself if the sensor was set on the bookcase, Kaede? No, I didn't check. Did it ever occur to you that Shuichi could have lied about setting the sensor? Hmm? It will, and now it's starting to come into my head a little bit, you know? <laughs> oh, no. Shuichi pretended to place the sensor on the hidden bookcase door. But in actuality, he was holding it the whole time. And when he met up with you, he secretly triggered the sensor to make the security alarm go off. That would cause Kaede to assume that someone had moved the bookcase. Sneaky little fucker! <sighs> Shuichi, your silence is proving his guilt. I have to do something. I know for a fact he's not the culprit. So I gotta do something. I don't even know what's about to happen. To be honest, I don't know. Okay, oh, so let's just talk about the white noise. Ah, got it, got it, got it. He's on trial now! Okay. The security sensor was armed, but... The moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. Look out, wait. As it turns out, Look out classroom, hidden time. door photos, Rinchen's photos. The heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it. Okay. In order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. Didn't mean to do that. Wait, so apparently there's evidence that he did not have the sensor on him. Holy crap! I kind of guessed. I kind of guessed there, but okay. All right. Yeah, I I'm very smart. Very smart. Wait a minute. This is weird. If the security sensor wasn't placed, then how did the pictures get taken? We yeah. We wouldn't have been able to take that picture. Okay. Yeah, that, that we makes were sense. We only able to get it because the sensor was triggered by the hidden door. Oh, that. Easy to explain. Well, you see... Uh... I guess you're right. Sorry, I didn't think that far ahead. Is it really not Shuichi? Like, come on, he hasn't said anything. It's keeping me in suspense. <laughs> I hate this. Uh, I mean, whatevs. I made a mistake. Big deal. You speak as if you knew that from the start. Even I was taken in. So you see? Shuichi can't be the culprit. She doesn't sound very confident. <laughs> The security sensor had a power supply, so what if it went like this? 
The security sensor was set up on the bookshelf, and Shuichi had its receiver. However, Shuichi turned the receiver off. Huh? How come? That would get you a picture, but no alarm when Rentaro moved the bookcase. Then, when Shuichi says he's gonna check the basement, he actually goes to the library. And thanks to the 30 second interval, he's got time to go in after Rantaro. Oh! He could have collected the sensor from the hidden bookcase after killing Rantaro. I see. Then he caused the receiver to go off in front of Kaede to trick her. It's certainly plausible, considering that Shuichi knew about the intervals. Uh, how needlessly complicated. But I guess that, it's not that does sound like he—he's basically a genius for coming up with this. Shuichi really is the culprit. <laughs> so the ultimate detective is the killer. What a plot twist! Yeah, and what would have happened if he didn't have—if he didn't kill Ratsuro in those thirty seconds? Wait, why do you guys think he's the culprit? He would have been caught. Shuichi, please say something. Why aren't you saying anything? Shuichi, what's wrong? You're. Not culprit, are you? Well, he definitely isn't defending himself at all. Hey, you gonna say anything? He's doing the AFK oh, strategy. <laughs> That's what he's doing. Are you okay with being the culprit? Are you ready to turn yourself in? Uh, what should I do? There's no way. Why won't Shuichi say anything? Is there a reason he won't say anything? If that's the case, then it's all up to me. To protect everyone, I need to take control of this debate. Even if that means I have to lie to do it. No, you don't need to. You, no, there, there doesn't need to be any lies here. No lies. Did you hear that? A lie? Now I know that sounds crazy. Telling a lie in a class trial. But sometimes telling a lie is necessary to reach the truth. Oh, but don't worry. There are no lies in this tutorial. From here on out, there will be times in a debate where you have to lie. That's new. Before you had to refute the lies, but now you have to lie for yourself. Yourself. Doesn't that get your heart pumping? It does? Here's how it works. Select the truth bullet like normal non-stop debates, but when you hold the button, the truth bullet will become a lie bullet with the opposite meaning. Okay, they're freaking flip-flopping right now, man. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I'm so confused, but screw it. Let's go over the case one more time. I need to lie. I'm a billionaire. <laughs> Shuichi also had the receiver. Okay. But he had it turned Oopsie. off. And so when Rantaro moved the bookcase, a picture was taken without. Oh, that's how you sign. lie. Then taking advantage of the camera's interval timer. Shuichi hid in the library and murdered that shit out of Rantaro! <laughs> Maybe, I don't then, know. He grabbed the security sensor from the bookcase and returned to the lookout spot. Afterwards, he set off the receiver in front of Kaede on purpose to make her think the murder had just happened. Praise be to Atua! We've solved this case! Okay, so we just need to be- we need to somehow lie that he had the receiver. That's the only thing we need to do. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. But he had it turned off. Wait, what do I do? Oh, the receiver- all we can say is on Kaede! Oh! Oh, that's kind of dirty. Look at these eyes. I don't like lying. I feel like a bad person. Oh, I okay, so I failed. <laughs> I don't think anything happens. It's probably just gonna be the same. Oh, you just retrying, that's all. Alright, I know exactly what to do now. Haha, no he didn't, because I said so, and that's the only thing you need. Sorry, you guys. I forgot to tell you something important. Okay, okay. To tell you the truth, it was me. I had the receiver. I just didn't want to say anything because I was I felt feel uh, guilty. So that's why there's no way Shuichi could have turned off the receiver. Also, there was a purple elephant in the room as well. I swear. You gotta believe me. If that me. is true, then the entire premise of the argument thus far is wrong. Why are we doing this though? How is this gonna help us get to the truth? Shuichi is obviously okay. guilty. I mean, the game, the, the, he's sure letting everyone think he is. Like an idiot of, of if he's course. not. Come on, would I lie to you guys? That only screw yourself over. If we mess up, you're dead too, you know. Or perhaps you wanted to cover for Shuichi, even at the cost of your life. I don't know if she knows him that well, but okay. 
I cannot imagine why anyone would risk their life to lie on another's behalf. Words from a true heartless robot. Emotions are only for meatbags. That is a harmful stereotype. I can produce heartfelt remarks through calculations. <laughs> through calculations. Like less than three? Those kinds of calculations? It's not so unthinkable. All hearts are blind when faced with radiant love. Doing anything for the one you love. Hasn't everyone felt that way before? Yes. <laughs> I most certainly have at least. Well, you're a snake. You're not even a real person. How you are. I'm sure that person didn't want to <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they did either. Kaede and Shuichi are pretty buddy-buddy with each other, so I wouldn't doubt that. Plus, the way Kaede just acted right now, I'm pretty sure she lied. You see through everything, Kokichi? A talented liar like me can spot other people's lies easily. Noted. I will remember that. Well, what do you guys think? To believe or not to believe Kaede? Um, I do want to believe Kaede, but Shuichi does seem pretty suspicious. He has been strangely quiet for a while now, which is classic degenerate male behavior. Of course, of course. Yeah. I agree. Shuichi is the only person here who's suspicious. So we all agree that Puichi did it? Then let's just vote already! No, I still think it is too soon to determine the culprit. Um, I agree. I sort of can't believe that Shuichi is the culprit. Yeah, this ain't right! I agree! But I don't know if Atua agrees. Cause right now it's his nap time. Oh, he goes to sleep? This is quite troublesome. It seems our opinions are on opposite ends. How are we supposed to decide? We're split, right down middle. Hold on. Obje oh, oh, interjection. Split. Did you just say split? You did. I heard it. I heard it with my belly button microphone. It's a microphone? So wait, your ears don't do anything? Yeah. <laughs> the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own morph. I'm intrigued. Oh, phenomenal trial grounds. The trial grounds are gonna morph? Seriously? I totally want to see that. Either way, we have to do something. We can't vote for Shuichi because he's definitely not the culprit. If we vote for him, all hope is lost. I won't be able to save everyone. But I haven't lost hope yet. I won't give up. So I get the point of lying, but she doesn't seem to actually know if he like why. She's just saying it. All right, you're split down the middle. At times like this, debate scrums are perfect. In a debate scrum, you will split into two teams. Oh my god, this game is so deep. Then you argue your opinions against each other. But look, everyone's so fired up, the subjects of your statements don't match. That's not how you debate at all. You have to match your subject with your opponents and put them in the correct order. Oh, okay. So move things around. Your side subject keywords uh, will be displayed, but your opponent's subjects won't be revealed yet. Listen closely for the subject of your opponent's argument. Before your opponent finishes their statement, find the same object keyword with... And press Y to argue okay. Oh, what the heck? They got like a whole cutscene? Oh my god, the whole budget from the last two games must have went to this game. <laughs> what the heck? This is insane! Debate scrum! You hid what you knew about the oh. camera interval, Shuichi. Oh god. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. What? Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Oh. If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been disguised. Okay, okay. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? I'll do it. We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. Okay, you I think I did it. I think I did it. <laughs> the camera interval, Shuichi. If our points don't match, then we won't be able to make a conceiving argument. I'm going to convince everyone that Shuichi is now the culprit. You... If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been disguised. Kiba! Kaede is the one who actually oh. had the receiver. Okay. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? Oh, I gotta do all- I have to do it all again? But Mew's silent about intervals, too. Oh, she- Shuichi, yeah. I actually have an airtight alibi. Kaito! 
Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? Shuichi and Kaede went together the whole time. Hirumi! Oh, so it like tells you. Together when the receiver went off. If Shuichi had the receiver... Kibo! Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. But that's Kaede's line. I'll do it! Okay, we did we'll it know then. Whether or not it's a lie oh, so I probably did it in the wrong true. order. I was wondering why I fell, then it told me the same thing. Crouch bind! Oh, uh, what? What do I do? What? Oh my god, it's- it, the controls are still so messed up, I don't get it! I have to figure out what, what button it wants me to press. Wait, wait, I, I just pressed it. I just pressed it! Which one was it? No! I'm just- which one? I'm pressing- Which one? I think it's E. I think I have to press E. Oh, okay, it's W. I'm, <laughs> you know what? You know, guys understand how hard this is to figure out when you don't have a controller. I have to press W. I have to figure that out myself. What are you? What do you mean I missed? You missed. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> now it works perfectly. What the heck? <laughs> okay, wow. Yes, I should have done this a long time ago. This is so much easier. Everyone, you have to believe me. Shuichi is not the culprit. <clears throat> if we vote for Shu. Oh crap, I didn't mean to skip. Everyone will be executed. Yeah, it's just like Kaede said. Shuichi ain't the culprit. Gonta believe in Shuichi too. Gentlemen always believe in friends. Well, if Shuichi's not our culprit. We've already exhausted all possible avenues of discussion. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? Huh? Shuichi, even though you're not the culprit, you've been quiet for a while. It's because you realize something, huh? You're scared to reveal the truth. <sighs> oh, that! Oh my God! So he's just scared of like what happened to him before. He doesn't want to put someone behind bars or something. Well, kill them basically. I thought so. He doesn't want to kill them. Shuichi, that's gotta be it. Answer me this: What kind of truth did you realize? Don't be scared to say it. <clears throat> Not just for me, but for everyone else. Okay, now that I now that it's pretty much revealed that it's not Shuichi, it's gotta be Miyu or the short dude. Please face the truth. Come on. The picture. Picture? What the what? The picture from the camera aimed at the hidden door just before the murder. No wait, 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 wait. I know they're gonna show me, but I have to see it beforehand. This one? This one? Is it this one? What's different? I don't understand. Oh my god, I hate it that I can't figure this out. What's different about it? There's gotta be something. It slightly looks like it has more contrast? Less contrast? Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's go back. What is it? Wait, suspicious. If you look at the picture, it looks like he's trying to remove the camera. But that must mean he noticed the camera we set up. That's true. But when did he notice that? I believe it was when the camera took its first picture. This picture was taken when Rantaro moved the bookcase. At that moment, something made him notice the camera. The flash, clearly. So he tried to remove it. That's when the bookcase closed. The sensor was triggered and that's when the picture was taken. Oh, so what, the bookcase is like a little more closed? We must find the reason why he noticed the camera. The flash, there's clearly a flash. You're confusing everyone. Except me, of course. Just get to the fucking point! I've been contemplating what it could be. Why did he notice the camera? And the answer is in this picture. I see. Shuichi knows. The reason why Ronsora noticed the camera was because... The camera flash. I get it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to know why it was on. Because of the flash, right? Yes, the flash went off when the hidden door camera took a picture. Uh huh. But how can you tell the flash went off? Well, if you compare it to the other pictures that we have, remember the pictures that were taken when I took down the cameras? This is the picture taken when I. Yeah, none of them. The, they never went off before. But I already knew that from a long time ago. This is the picture from when I removed the rear camera. And this. Is the picture of Rantar. Oh, the brightness is totally it's different. Room, circumstance, and camera. And yet, there is a disparity in brightness. 
because only the camera aimed at the hidden door had the flash turned on. What was the purpose of leaving the flash on? Especially since it was meant to be hidden. A mistake, maybe? It's no mistake. There was an objective here. So someone found the camera and turned the flash on to distract him. That way they can murder him. Oh. That camera was placed for another reason. Another reason, huh? Uh, to take a picture of the mastermind. To lure the mastermind closer? Uh, that's what- whoever messed with the flash. So it's probably Miyu then. I get it! Holy crap! Miyu must have did this. The flash was used to lure whoever moved the bookcase to the camera. So when the flash went off, they would have noticed the camera right away. And that's exactly what happened. So they were probably behind the bookcase or something. Dang. The culprit didn't expect the camera to take another picture when the door closed. Hey, Kaede? What is it? Is something wrong? You've been acting kind of strange. What are you talking about? Strange? Your last few remarks carry more conviction than before. Do you know who the culprit is? Yep, I know. I've known for a long time. What do you mean you've known? Mm -hmm. Long time? Because there was only one person able to set the flash on the camera. Isn't that right, Shuichi? The culprit of this incident is... It's gotta be her! Oh, they actually showed their number. This is kind of cool. Oh, I can show the question? Oh, well, I know the question. It's gotta be her. I just don't see who else. It's not Shuichi. It's too obvious. Uh, I kind of liked Miyu, though. What? So it is? It is him? Kaede, I... It's okay. I know you're not the... <laughs> Ooh. Even I'm confused. Even I am confused. Unless he can, like, control robots or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I knew it wasn't him. It's me. It's me. I'm the killer. No doubt about it. No! What? Wait, wait. No. Well, this is as far as it goes. What? I'm sorry, everyone. Wait, no, I think I just failed. That's all I did. I thought I was like, what? <laughs> I think it just failed. Okay, it's not her. I'm sorry, Shuichi. You stayed silent this whole time because you realized it already. No, right? what? Did I fail or is it really her? You can't do that. It may be the end of me, but I want my wish to... I'm giving it to you, Shuichi. From now on, you're going to carry on my wish. You're going to protect everyone. What do you mean it's her? <laughs> I'm so confused. Did I fail or did I know what you want me to do? That's so cool. It's cool, but I understand. I'll do it. You can trust me. I won't let your wish go ungranted. No! How? How in the world was it her? She did mess with the sensors, yes, but how did she manage to kill him? She never left. We were her! That's the thing! Kaede is the culprit. Huh? How? Kaede did it? Wait! That's not possible! Right, Kaede? How could I be this wrong about this? Kaede? Wait! Did Ex she really- This game needs to explain right now. <laughs> Just kidding! Just kidding? Huh? Did you guys really think I'm the culprit? What is this gay doing? Shh, come on, guys. Like I could. When Rantaro was murdered, I was in the classroom with Shuichi, remember? After that, we went to the library, and that's the first time I even saw his body. Plus, I never met up with Rantaro. I never had a chance to kill him. Yes. No way Kaede could be culprit. Jeez. Does she sleepwalk? Not. Do you think I'm even strong enough to throw that shot? My hands are only strong enough to play piano. Unless when she set up the books, somehow 
somehow it was some sort of trap to where the ball would fall down. She did touch the ball, technically. Like, we found it in the warehouse, but I don't understand how she managed to pull this off. Then accusing you of being the culprit is... <laughs> yep, it's wrong. Shuichi's just joking around. He wanted to lighten up the mood. Right, Shuichi? No matter how you look at it, I couldn't have killed Rontaro with that shot. What? You want me to reveal the truth, don't you? I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth, but the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. I won't even know if you're on the- what? So fight for the truth even if it's frightening. I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping and let that be your strength. Why? No, I'm not joking around. Kaede definitely killed Rantaro. Oh my god, this is the biggest plot twist. This is what I've been waiting for. This what kind of twist. Just say? It seems as though Shuichi is serious after all. Of course I am. Didn't I say in the freaking beginning of this game, like, man, it'd be crazy if, like, someone actually died, like, the main character actually died. For once. Why don't you tell me then? How did I kill Rantaro with that shot? Yeah, how? You and Kaede were together the whole time, weren't you? How Kaede killed Rantaro with the shot football should become clear when you consider where she used it. It's where on the on the top. Huh? What? I lost you guys. Unless it's somehow connected to the to the case too, who knows? I need to fulfill her wish. I need to fight for the truth. This Oh my god, I already freaking love this game. I did not see this coming. I have an alibi. Uh, when Rantaro was killed, I was in the classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. Lookout classroom. The lookout classroom. She... I don't understand. I don't understand how she did it, but she did it with the vent somehow. That's what I'm guessing. How she kill him? It's gotta be that. We know that it was... It wasn't in the library. She put it in the vents. That's the only way it could possibly connect. Kaede didn't use the shot put ball at the scene of the crime. She used it at the first floor classroom where we were keeping watch. So she somehow had the book. The books lined up so the ball would follow it. That's some big brain crap, man. with a shot from a different floor. She had the books perfectly to where they would, yeah, they would roll. She rolled the shot from the first floor classroom and hit Rancaro. She could have got away with it though. Why didn't she want to get away with it? She could perform such a feat of accuracy. Yeah. So it was a magic shot put ball. It's all in the books. Well, I was right about one thing. The ball did come from up up there. I just didn't think that was how I would do it. If you do it at the right spot in the classroom, it will reach the library. So it seems, you already knew about that. I didn't want to figure it out. I didn't want to figure that out either. I may be good at guessing things, but I did not guess that the main character did it. You needed to do- oh, this- okay, this thing again, alright. Gotta play tic-tac-toe, guess the- guess the word. That was easy. The classroom's bent. If you were to roll the shot in there, it would reach the library. I see. That air duct connects the classroom to the library. So, the shot is rolled into the vent, passes through the duct. Yes, yes. And comes out of the air vent above the library bookcase. But how could she have hit Rantaro from all the way over there? The vent was way too far from Rantaro's body. That's what I thought initially too, but she like made like a racetrack of death with the books. So it was just a coincidence? That's what she did. What kind of coincidence is that? Hmm. How could mystery? she be this evil from the very freaking beginning? Unless she like somehow knew that Rantaro was gonna kill everyone or something. I don't see why. Why would she do this? If I'm if I remember correctly, there was something off about her then. How could I not realize it? 
It's too late to regret the past. I said I wouldn't back down. I made a promise. So he's the real main character of the game? Or are we really not gonna know who's the main character of the game? Is there no main character in this game? Because that would be even more insane. If they make this game to where like you literally don't even know if the character you're playing as is gonna survive, that is what this game should have been. That's insane. I'm excited. The shot that fell from the vent. Stacked books. Head yes, that that's distance. that's it. Yeah, that's I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. It's not like it started rolling on its own. Yes, it did. The bookcase under Rantaro's head. Maybe the shot was on the floor. And Rantaro tripped over it, caught his head on the bookcase. No. What? So you don't slip and fall? <laughs> what? Rantaro's corpse moved on its own. No, it didn't. Like he was standing under the when the shot hit his head. He walked a few steps before he finally dropped dead. <laughs> that would be stupid. Hey, Shuichi. Don't lose sight of the truth. I won't. This one? Hey! I agree. It's just like we almost said. The shot rolled along the top of the bookcase and fell on Rantaro's head. It rolled? Along the bookcase? I did say that, but would the shot have rolled that conveniently? It has nothing to do with convenience. The shot rolled exactly how the culprit wanted. They used books on top of the bookcases to direct the path of the shot. The shot's path was directed by books? How would that even work? Ah, it would be easier to explain with a floor plan of the library. Oh, that's right, someone did have a floor plan. In fact, that might be the concrete proof of my theory. I remember one of them having a detailed floor plan. That was Miu. That's it! Miu, I recall that during the investigation... You said you would use your drone to make a floor plan. Oh yeah! What happened with that? Ha! I've already developed the photos and drafted some sketches. It shouldn't seem like a hint. Look at it. Maybe we all find clue. Please, Mew. Oh, want him that badly, huh? Fine. But now you owe me one. Voila! Feast your eyes on these babies. Yeah, look at it. You can see it. Yeah, it's like slanted. So it, it, oh my god. So it just went on down and just killed him. It's a, it's a nice little track. Wow. It's just as I thought. And you couldn't see it because of the books in front of it. She must have took a long time to do that. Like, think about it. He was, he was freaking Shuichi, like, not curious. Like, like, hey, why is she walking all, like, along the, the top? Like, sure, she messed with the vent, but, like, why was she... She obviously messed with those books down there. That was stupid. <laughs> if you think...
it would be. Wait, even with the rube whatever set up, when did she roll the ball into the duct? That's right. Wasn't Shuichi with Kaede in the classroom? When did she do it? Uh, that is a good point. When did she do it indeed? When she was leaving the classroom then. That's it. The moment we ran out of the classroom. When the sensor went off, I ran out first. And then Kaede followed. Ah. Uh. But just before she left. Shuichi, the receiver. Someone moved the bookcase. Hurry, Kaede. Shuichi sprinted out of the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective. Wait for me! I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. I'm right, aren't I, Kaede? Of course, the ultimate detective would remember all that. How though? What your the heck? I and that smile. Is this your admission of guilt? Hold on! Don't just jump to conclusions! I've still got a lot of questions! Oh god, this is gonna be pointless. <laughs> That's weird! Why do you sound so desperate? There's nothing weird about it! There's just no way I could believe someone like Kaede would be the culprit! Yeah. yeah. Going to not believe it either. What? Don't worry, Kaede! I'll clear your name! Really? Like, really? I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. Uh, I still have my doubts. Yeah, what doubts? Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet, right? If that shot was rolling through the vents, it would have made a ton of noise. No, because the freaking Indeed. yeah, the so much noise. the promotional video of BGM was too loud. Yeah, it was way too loud. Well, that was That's easy. <laughs> the murder occurred while the Killing Game promotional video was being broadcast. How did she know that was gonna happen? That's the thing. Completely quiet at the time. So, so yes, the video, video did, yes. What? Kaito, are you done now? D damn it! So it's true then? You're saying Kaede really is the culprit? So I didn't want to believe it either. Most of Kaede's sins were committed right before Shuichi's eyes. That's correct. I was with her in the classroom, and when she moved the vent grate aside. And when she lined up the books on top of the bookcase. That's so insane. I can't believe this twist, dude. What a great start to the game. I ah, can't believe it. Jeez, there are too many books. It might be too hard to set the camera up here. Um, I thought so. <laughs> I just gotta try a little harder. Give me some time. He did, yeah, he's like, hi, I didn't I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really it's okay. I continued moving the ladders. I kept re reorganizing the books. Dang, he just helped her do it. And it was the same when you took the murder weapon, wasn't it? You took the shot put ball when you got the Shuichi went off on his Kaede. own. That's why I thought maybe he did it too. But then again, I, I, I did, I did notice though that she was in front of the balls, right? So like, he went off somewhere else. So it, of course, it makes sense that she did it. Just not in a million years. So you were hiding it the entire time? Oh my god, I can't skip anything. Every every detail hidden? in this game is important. She kept it in her backpack. That's it. Kaede's backpack. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. I noticed you also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. And that means all of this happened right in front of Shuichi. The ultimate but detective. We blame him for that. <laughs> That's the insane part. None of those actions warranted suspicion at the time, so we might not have noticed. That clears it all up then. Every part of the crime Kaede plotted. That can't be. It's gotta be mistake, right? 
Another thing I'd like to see in this game is like someone actually st saving someone else from getting killed and a person that is like completely guilty is like crap. Now they won't trust me ever again. I would love to see something like that. But if all of that is true, then that's pretty unfortunate. I mean, it's Kaede, you know? She kept preaching about working together, and then she goes and kills in cold blood! No, something still doesn't fit. What? Hmm, what doesn't fit? What is it Kaede now? wouldn't do something like that. Huh? You mean she's not the type? But you were the one that said she did it, right? I can't do yes, it, these twists, man. Say that. But murder in cold blood is just not in her character. Yeah, there had to be a, a motive. I truly believe that. I believe in her. But why? why do you still believe in me, Shuichi? Why? Tell me why! Why are you doing this? Are you still looking away from the truth? Not at all. My belief in you is going to lead me to the truth. I'll show you what's behind all this. I'll show you your truth. I know this is getting crazy, right? <laughs> At least the game knows. It's time for another tutorial. Your opponent is on the ropes, but they're in argument armament mode and won't listen to you. You have to remove their armaments to refute what they are saying. That's how argument armament works. The objective is to destroy all your foes arm. What the heck? Let's face it, I don't understand, but I'll figure it out. You still believe in me? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, now she's dead. It's like freaking Persona, we've been mastered. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. The mind, wait, master mind kill. The mind master kill. Just stop. Just stop. Remember what I told you? I can figure this out. <laughs> I'm really glad they didn't take that away. Okay, kill the master mind. That's gotta be it. <laughs> <laughs> Meat on the bone will always be here. What is with this? What is with that like picture though? You weren't persuaded by Monokuma, and you weren't trying to save yourself. And why? What you were trying to do was kill the mastermind. Oh, so she was trying to do. She was convinced, but come on, she didn't have enough proof to know that was actually the mastermind. Oh, the mastermind? Kaede wasn't targeting Rantaro. She was targeting the mastermind. She was trying to end this killing game. She was trying to save us all. Isn't that right, Kaede? I see! Otherwise, everyone would have died when the time limit expired. So, she tried to end the killing game by killing the mastermind? Why let it go on, though? She could have just confessed and she would have been fine. But it's all my fault. Kaede trusted my detective skills. I told her the mastermind might be there. And that's why she set that trap. It's not my fault. She trusted my detective work and I screwed it up. Oh, he's never gonna want to be a detective ever again. <laughs> Stop. It's not true. Please, don't say it's your fault. It'll be harder for me. None of this is your fault. It's mine. Everything's my fault. Kaede. Shuichi, can I ask you to do one last favor for me? Can you end all of this? What? I want you to reveal everything that happened and convince everyone. And then, I want you to end this. That's my final wish. I understand. I'll end all of this. I'll reveal everything. The truth and the lies. I think we understand it now. I don't think we need to do it again, but okay, we'll do it again. All right, closing argument. I know how to do it. This is the truth of the case. All right, guys, we figured it out. Here it goes. It all began two days prior when Monokuma gave us the additional motive. The time limit added to this killing game triggered the crime. After the announcement, some of us decided to form groups to plan our next move. I had my own plan to find the mastermind, and someone offered to help me. At the time, I never would have imagined they would become the culprit. To expose the mastermind, the culprit and I set up hidden cameras in the library. 
There was a hidden door in the library that showed signs of use. We deduced that the Mastermind would return there to let Monokuma out. The next day, we asked Mew if she could modify some cameras for our trap. We then went to the warehouse to gather the necessary materials. Oh, I don't remember her looking like that. All we needed were disposable cameras and a security sensor. Dude, I can't believe she's the black kid, man. This is so unexpected. I, it's like I'm in shock, honestly. I knew as soon as I figured out that she had a talent, something was off. Something was off with her. Cameras as well as the shot in their backpack. Then, on the day the time limit would expire, the day of the murder, the culprit and I collected the modified cameras from you and visited the library. Once there, we searched the room for ideal locations to place the cameras. But even then, the culprit was preparing the murder. They began by removing the vent grate and laid it inside the air duct. Then, they moved the pile of books on top of the bookcase, pretending to organize them. After that, they placed open encyclopedias on the final bookcase. It appeared innocuous enough, but it was actually a path for the murder weapon. Hey, maybe Shuichi knew all along, and he was like, "All right, I'll let her." <laughs> he with a hidden camera linked to the security. He just wanted he just wanted to solve a mystery. That was all. I was responsible for setting up the other cameras, but that one, I didn't even notice their trick. They used duct tape to keep the flash function on. It was a secret. After the cameras were set, the culprit and I climbed the stairs to the first floor classroom. We kept a lookout for the others and waited for the security sensor to go off. Kaede played us like a dang fiddle, honestly. During the stakeout, we saw Kaito and six others go down to the basement. Rantaro was with them, the first victim. After watching that group enter the game room, I returned to the classroom. With about one hour remaining, the security receiver I was holding went off. I assumed it was the mastermind, so I ran out of the classroom to the library. I was in such a hurry, I left the culprit behind. Looking back on it now, that was the last chance I had to stop the murder. She did it so left, fast. The culprit took the shot put ball out of their backpack and rolled it into the classroom vent. What what would she have done if it had screws? Motion. Rantaro had moved the bookcase, triggering the receiver. Unbeknownst to him, the trap had been sprung. First, the modified camera took a picture of Rantaro with the flash on. We never even saw his talent, though. It's like a, it's gonna be a mystery. It's Rantaro gonna eat at me. Noticed the flash and approached the bookcase to inspect the camera. The camera flash lured Rantaro directly into the murder weapon's path. The shot the culprit tossed into the vent rolled through the air duct. came out of the library's vent and kept rolling atop the bookcase. Opening the vent grate and organizing the books was all to create a path. Under normal circumstances, the victim would have been alerted by the noise. But the promotional video was masking the sound of the shot rolling. So I wonder if Monokuma did that to give someone a chance or something. What the crazy timing. Rolling. 
then fell on Rantaro's head. It doesn't explain how she knew that was going to happen, though. It just seems impossible that she would have known that. By the time we had entered the room, the murder was complete. I imagine seeing Rantaro's body, the culprit probably thought. The mastermind is dead. The game is over. Now we can all go home. But then, but then that's when Monica appeared. Come true. Because Rantaro wasn't the mastermind. It was murder in an attempt to save all our lives. That is the truth. Oh. <laughs> That's the truth behind your lies, Kaede Akamatsu. He was like, Ugh. Ugh. That's how I felt when I when I found out. It, it, there's no way this game's gonna get better than this. Like, and that concludes the events of this case. How's she gonna get killed through a piano? Is the piano gonna fall on her? Going to, I knew it wasn't you. You were good, man. Damn it! It is a truth I do not wish to accept. But since Shuichi has brought everything to light, we can at least try to trust the Kaede we've come to know up to this point. The Kaede we've come to know? Even if she she's not even a bad person either. What Kaede has said to us is not a lie. She wanted to protect us, and I firmly believe that to be the truth. If that was a lie too, it'd be the last straw for me. I'd have nothing left to believe in. You guys are so nice. Even though I betrayed you all. No! That's not true, Kaede! You were trying to save all of it. Nice job, Shuichi. I didn't expect any less. What? You were super reliable back there. But you still have a long way to go. You need to be more assertive. If you did that more often... You'd be a pretty cool guy. Hey, he's cool. He's cool. Kaede, why? Why are you smiling like that? Why are you still trying to get me to be brave? Why, Kaede? Why are you thinking about everyone except yourself? If you had just been less selfless, you wouldn't have had to murder. Why? Why do you do that? I'm sorry. Stop, stop, stop! At least save it for the end of the trial! Sheesh! <laughs> oh, no. Looks like the debate's finished, so that means it's what would, you, what would you do if, if um, Kaede's last words are, Shuichi, fix your hat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, you bastards. <laughs> I'm in front of you to cast your vote. You can't say that so cutely. And make sure y'all vote. Because refusing to vote is great. I'll vote, shut up. At last, the heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off! It's voting time! I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Uh, uh, Ronsaro, what's your talent, man? I gotta look that up, though. I really, really do. Announcement time! <laughs> it seems the voting has finished! Now then, let's see the result! Everyone did. Who'll be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right we choice? We did, we did, we all know. I was like, the game just drags on a little bit, but that's okay. The story's so good, though. Vlad's like, Gonzo? What? What? It was me! <laughs> all rise! Dude, I probably got. I was so busy trying to learn the controls that I probably got an awful score thanks to that. I'll take it. <laughs> Absolutely right. 
Okay. Good. What? Good. Don't screw around. How? This is not how we want this to end. Not really, but it could have turned out a lot worse, so this is fine too. It's not- it's super horrible! How did it come to this? Please. Kaede, what would possess you to do something like this? Gonsuk- they already explained it. They already explained it. Hey! Kaede, please. Okay, please allow me a few more moments of your time then. It's just like Shuichi said, I was after the mastermind this entire time. I wanted to kill the mastermind and I thought it would end the killing game. But why did you try to kill them? Maybe they could have been captured. If it hadn't been for the time limit, I probably would have done that. But the time limit meant that capturing the mastermind was less likely to work, you know? Because the mastermind could have just played as dumb to run uh, out of the clock and kill us all, I was worried about that happening. Therefore, so you sought to kill the mastermind instead. That's right. I had made up my mind before we set up the cameras in the library. I thought it was my last chance to save everyone. I couldn't let that chance pass me by. I had to save everyone no matter what. Even if you had to kill someone? Yeah. That's right. I thought that the killing of the mastermind was our best shot at escaping this place. I, I really believed it too. But... Okaide, it never dawned on you. As soon as that thought entered your head, Monokuma had you right where he wanted. Because what mattered most to Monokuma is that the killing game started. You really don't Regardless of your reasons, the moment you felt the urge to kill, you had already lost. You agreed to be a part of the killing game when you allowed murder to fill your heart. Wait. That was the most like... Well thought out thing he's ever said. <laughs> Wait, to put it like that... But he's not wrong, she's the reason the killing game really started. Uh, no. But if Kaede hadn't done anything, we'd all be dead by now. Right. Kaede, save everyone. We no can blame her. I know that! I know you don't need to remind me. That's why I'm so pissed off. Pissed off at myself for being so useless. Um, Kokicha, that's enough. I can see through your act. Man. Oh, come on. I actually thought you were cool for a second. That's right. But Kokichi is right. I was being played, and I didn't even kill the mastermind. I killed one of our dear friends instead. What I did was so terrible, so unforgivable. I took an innocent life. I'm nothing but a horrible murderer. You should all hate, blame, and be disgusted by me. Wait! Kaede, please calm down. After we found Rantaro's body, when I realized he wasn't the mastermind, I thought about ending this com by confessing to you what I had done. But I couldn't because of Monokuma's first blood perk. Your... I see, if you confessed there and then you would have been able to leave. But you decided you couldn't leave this place by yourself, so you kept quiet. Because of the first blood perk, you were forced to hide the truth from us. Yeah. That's right. I see. So the f first blood perk works against the black and rather than for them. Uh... She still could have just left, right? It, it wasn't like the... It wasn't set up right to where she was the only one that could leave, like, ever, right? But at the same time, I thought, if I did this for everyone, then instead of making things easier by confessing, I thought I should lie to you all so it would be motivated to keep you moving forward. Man. Is that the reason for the trial to reveal the mastermind? Yes. I felt like if I didn't do this, then Rontaro's death would have been meaningless. Well, then. So she felt guilty. She didn't want to leave. That just shows that she was a good person. We were searching for both the culprit and the mastermind during this class trial. Oh, yeah. Okaiete well, didn't mention that. She does. She's like, make crap up. <laughs> I never wanted to keep my crime a secret. I was going to tell you all eventually, but before I did, I wanted to expose the mastermind first. Then the killing game would have ended and everyone but me would have been saved. I thought that was the best way I could atone for killing Rontaro. What about that? It was a huge act. You did it, didn't you, Rontaro? Or freaking not Rontaro, freaking Shuichi. Sorry. This is my fault. I was wrong. There was no mastermind. What? You were wrong, but didn't you say the mastermind was one of us? Okay. That's what I thought at first, but in the end, we have nothing. No one made any moves at the time limit. The trial was useless. Even when Shuichi was about to be voted as the Blacken, still, they did not appear. Maybe. That seriously was a close one. If anyone's won, it's Kokichi, I'm telling you. If Kaede had just kept her mouth shut, we'd all be dead right now. No way, there has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? On the other hand, she's only in this mess because she uh, decided to say something at that moment. That's... I wanted to protect her, but I also wanted to unmask the mastermind. So you did, okay. So Shuichi's basically blaming himself. He thinks it's his detective skills that made her do this. No, it's not. Because... I killed him, not you. Right? Didn't I? But... Kaede, why did you set up such a convoluted trap? If your intent was to kill the mastermind, there was no reason for you to cover your tracks. Jeez. Isn't obvious, it's because she didn't want Shuichi to know. Huh? Of course, but I didn't want everyone else to know either, because I said I wanted to escape this place with everyone. Because but you guys wouldn't want to be friends with a girl who killed someone, would you? <laughs> be friends? <laughs> Kaede put a lot of thought into this. Mm. Oh, she put so much thought into this, it drove her to commit murder like a lunatic. God, you're such a dang... Yeah. 
<laughs> I know, right? I'm such an idiot. However, we only survived the time limit because of that idiocy. Right. Yes, we still are alive thanks to you. <laughs> Kaidi, I didn't know how, but I wanted to get out of here with you. I wanted to be friends. Sorry. I'm so sorry. So you're saying everything you did was because you were thinking of us and you hid that? You killed him just to stay and help us? How did things... He's like, what? that's enough talking. That's enough. Ah. Father, are you getting bored? That's right. You know how Pop skits. He can't stand this kind of tearjerker schlock. <laughs> I can't stop crying. <laughs> so, so one of them has a heart. I see nothing getting past my adorable little cubs. <laughs> I don't even let appetizers get past me, especially if someone else bought them. Now then. But we can't let this boring uh, display grind the action to a halt. So time to make things interesting. Huh? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. And no- Oh, no, no. I thought he was gonna let her go. Nope. You mean Kaede's execution? No freaking way. There's no way we'll let you do that. Hey! Oh. Well, here it is. Here it is, guys. Punishment time is a sacred segment. You're not allowed to interfere. And if you even try to interfere, we'll just crush you with these here exosols. Dang, he- Gonta really is barefoot all the time. Probably better if one person dies instead of everyone. Like hell am I just gonna sit here and do what you say? Kaede fought with her life on the line, and so will I! Oh, that's so nice. Gonta will face you all. Times like this are why Gonta became strong. Get him, Gonta! Gentlemen never back down, and neither will Gonta. This is the perfect chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines! Yeah, I'll help. I can... Everyone stop! Stop it. Just stop. Kaede. I... I've already prepared myself. You said you'd never give up. That we'd get out of here together. That's what you said, Kaede. Damn it. So why are you giving up now? Did you mean what you said? I know we can do something. Don't give up until the no. end. I'm not giving up because I have you. Huh? I thought she said love. I was like, whoa. What? You know? Even after I'm gone, my wish will still be here. So I'm counting on you all. I'm entrusting my wish to every one of you. I believe... I believe that you will all make it through this somehow. Dude, this is sadder than freaking your line, April. You have to live! I don't know, she reminds me of that because of the music. In this ridiculous killing game, survive and get the hell out of this place. And then be friends after you escape, okay? I think you'll all be best of friends. Yeah. Affirmative, Kaede. I shall take that request. I will do my utmost to fulfill your final request. <laughs> I won't give up. I'll get out of here no matter what. <sighs> Gone to work hard and keep friends safe till very end. Kaede, you definitely weren't boring. Wait. No. Hey. Shuichi, you better not lose. You can't lose! I know you can beat it. It's punishment time! I believe in you! So please, believe in yourself! Come on, you can at least give her a voice line in the last second. I promise. <sighs> Kaede has been found guilty. Dude. I just...
That was random as crap. The moment it was over, I felt my legs give out under me. What I just saw didn't feel real. As if all reality had vanished and the only thing left was a fictional world. Real or not, Kaede was gone. That's a wrap for Kaede. That's... That's a wrap. Wait, why is Mono Kid? Ah! What have you done? Ah! She puked again! Oh, well. But this tension ain't so bad, you know? Finally feels like a proper killing game. If anything, we could stand to use a little more tension in our lives, right, Dad? Oh. My sweet darling Mono Kid claimed as collateral damage. Oh, wow. This is a nightmare. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. My precious cub is. On second thought, I guess it's okay after all. I still got four more. <laughs> I still got four more kids. I'm glad you kids came in bulk. It's okay. I'm shocked our existence means that little, huh? What's done is done. What's dead is dead. No point crying over crushed cups. <laughs> Unless you want to end up like those sad sacks or these sad sacks. What in the world is this? Are you freaking kidding me? Talk about overkill. Amen. Please grant Kaede's soul eternal repose. I can't believe this happened to Kaede. I liked her so much. Yeah, yeah, sure you did. Ah, all this adrenaline creates such an exquisite feeling of despair. It's moments like this that make all the killings worth this it. Is... Why are you doing such a terrible thing? How dare you? They, it's just the part where they, they question everything. I know human life is precious. I'm not a monster, you know. Because if human life wasn't precious, ending it wouldn't be nearly as fun. There's no greater joy than witnessing such a display of despair entertainment. <laughs> You've surpassed psychotic by a wide margin. I don't think I've ever felt quite this irritated. I won't forgive you. He kind of seemed like he liked her a little bit. I don't know if it's just me though. Spoken like a marked man. What is your objective? Do you hate us? Yeah, what is your objective? Hate you? Who can say? That's your job to figure out. If you really want to know what's going on, you're going to have to work for it. Everyone else had to. Through the corpse formerly known as Rontaro may have had a hunch. Oh, that's why he didn't know his talents. What is it? Yeah, come on. He did say he would end the game and he also knew about the hidden door. Could that be his hunch? I wonder. Dang it, he actually knew! It's not his fault he was useless. He died before his talent could be revealed. If he had lived long enough to reveal it, maybe he would have been more useful. Oh well, he's dead and that's that and th that's the indifference of death for you. However. He wasn't, he really wasn't the mastermind, was he? Are you still pestering me with these annoying questions? Aren't you guys focusing a little too much on whether or not he's a, there's a mastermind? If you keep this up, you're all gonna end up like Kaede. Maybe spend less time worrying about nonsense and more time watching your back, okay? You never know who's gonna become the next killer. There's no way anyone else would do killing. <laughs> That's what the main character would say. So Himiko asks why you're all psyched up and Monokuma said it's nice to see that at least one of you has some chutzpah around here. But okay, that was a response to Kokichi though. I have a feeling you're gonna live for a while. I have a feeling that too. He's probably like the main thing about this game somehow. If you guys like him this much, he's gotta be that important, I know. Hey Monodem, explain yourself! I get that Monokuma was uh, obnoxious and rude, but that was way over the line. Oh, it's a Monodam. Oh, I, I didn't even realize Monodam's the one that did it. Okay. Oh, he, he talked. I did it for us. I mean, he was the worst one, literally. Ah. Wait, Monodam, where are you going? He probably killed him as a payback for all the bull. Yeah, I mean, it's quite obvious. He did say that it happened a lot. And with that, I think that's it, guys. Oh, he hit Shuichi. Why is he mad? Clench your teeth. Kaito, you are supposed to say that before you hit him. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you. Oh, there's always got to be one she of these characters. Her wish onto you. But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma. You call yourself a man? Ooh, maybe he actually does freaking do what he says. Dumbass. I just hit you. Aren't you mad? What's your problem? Enough Kaito. So Shuichi is probably going to be the official main character now. And didn't see that coming. Did not see that coming. We need, we, he needs to take off his hat. We need to know if he's got an antenna. That would have been it. Shuichi, I don't know how well you knew Kaede, but why don't you try going to her ultimate lab? Huh? Yeah, we never even saw it. That's right. Monokuma set the room up, so there's probably not a lot there to remember her by, but there should at least be a bunch of little things she liked. Uh, okay. Things that she liked. Listen up. I understand, there's only one way to get through this awful feeling. No one's gonna be able to console you if you're just sitting here alone. I mean... If anyone's gonna help you, it'll be her in your memories. Damn, that was a good guy after all, man. Before I realized that I got to my feet, I just started walking and I headed towards the ultimate pianist. Dang, this is a long chapter, guys. Holy crap, man. So that's her room. What a magnificent piano. I would have liked to hear her play it, if only just once. 
That reminds me, the song that Kaede was talking about. Of course, it must be here somewhere. I stood in front of the shelves of the CDs and searched for it. Here it is. I took the CD from the shelf and... Okay, so he's gonna play it. Better not be copyright. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Oh, they can't do this. They can't do this. <sighs> it's too sad. What a touching freaking first trial, though. This game... No, it, there's no way. This game just peaked. <sighs> My god. All right, guys. Well, hopefully it lets us save because I need to save it. I got a note here pin. Yes, I would like to save. My scrubs, that's gonna do it. Smash like, 30k likes for the next episode. <sighs> All I can say is that I really enjoy this. Uh, a lot of people are saying don't play this game. Like, what the heck's wrong with you? Like, that was amazing. I was- I've always wanted the main character to get killed. <laughs> and no, I didn't want her to die. I didn't really want it, but I always thought that that would be an interesting plot twist, and it actually happened. So, yeah, guys, subscribe if you haven't already to, you know, stay up to date with Danganronpa and the other stuff that I do, and uh, smash like again. I know I said that already, but I'll see you, scrubs, in the next episode of Danganronpa V3. Bye now.